Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add subscriber alerts to your Twitch stream in OBS. This is going to be a nice, quick, and easy tutorial. On screen, you can see a quick example of this. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. And we're going to launch Streamlabs. This video is kind of made to go hand in hand with my previous video, where I showed you how to do follower alerts. So it's going to be a similar process. You can skip a little bit ahead if you've already watched that. So first thing you want to do is connect with Twitch. And if this is your first time, you are going to have to authorize to allow Streamlabs to have access to your Twitch. And when you first log in you'll be met with this Streamlabs dashboard and this is going to have some information about your stream such as viewers, followers, subscribers and a bunch of other kind of interesting features. I think Streamlabs has a really nice dashboard and has some really nice features involved in it. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to our widgets and we're going to be paying particular attention to our alert box. We want to click on our alert box and we're going to be met with a bunch of different options here. We want to scroll down to where we see our general settings and we're going to go to subscriptions. From here we have all the settings we can change for our actual subscriber alerts. So the first thing we have is the actual subscriber alerts and here we can choose if we want to have our subscriber alerts enabled or disabled in this case we're going to be leaving it enabled our second option is going to be a layout and we have three choices here we can either have the text below an image the text on top of an image or the text to the right of an image this is a little bit of trial and error to see what you like for this case i'm just going to select the one where the text is below the image underneath that we have the alert animation and this is going to be the transition animation that comes up on screen to determine how our text comes in and our image. So in this case, I just have it by default with the fade in. Like I said, I actually kind of like this. I think I like the simplicity, but there's a bunch of different options to choose here. For argument's sake, I'm just going to click the bounce in for this. And I'm just going to have bounce out just for something different to make it a little bit different. The next thing we're going to be able to look at is the message template. And this is the message that's going to pop up when a user subscribes. The name in brackets is going to be replaced with the user's name who just subscribed. And the actual message after that is going to be whatever you want it to be. So you can have it join the wolf clan or join the crew or whatever you want to have. This is a little bit of trial and error to customize for your stream. The next thing we can change is the text animation. And we can change this to a bunch of different options. I'm just going to leave it on wiggle for now. But it's just a really nice little feature that they have on here. And then the image here we can change the image very simply by clicking on change media and we can either upload our own image which you can change to your logo or whatever you want after that or we can choose thankfully Streamlabs have a bunch of stock images so if we click on stock files and images down here we have a bunch of pre images to choose from in this case I'm going to be choosing another one just for argument's sake so I like the Zelda one uh, I know it's Link I'm just saying it's from the Legend of Zelda just so we can get that clear I know who Link is and uh, underneath that we can choose the sound so here we can have a sound file that's going to play and pop up when a new user subscribes you can change that just like you did before and there's also a bunch of different stock sounds here so in this case i'm just going to tick bonus tree for example and it'll give you a quick preview of what it sounds like this is a really cool one i think it kind of matches the link style you can change the sound volume down here and we can also change the alert donation below this the alert duration is going to determine how long your actual image and text stays on screen so you can keep this anywhere from one minute down to eight seconds i'd recommend keeping it between six and ten seconds that's kind of the sweet spot by default it's on eight and that's a good starting time underneath that we have the alert text delay and that's going to be the delay from when the image comes up to when you want the text to appear of the user and the actual subscribe message in this case it's set by default to zero i would recommend keeping it there unless you're planning something kind of different or you have a cool image on screen now that we've explained most of the basic settings we're ready to get into some more than nitty-gritty details and this is particularly where the actual subscriber alerts differ from the follower alerts that i showed in my previous video so the first thing we can look at is the resub message settings and here we can determine if we want the actual resub message to pop up or not. In this case, it's shown by default. You can click to allow emotes. You can change the font, the pixel size, the weight, which is the actual thickness of the text. And we can change the text color. This is for users who resub. They can leave a resub message. This is up to you if you want to keep this. For the most part, I'd recommend keeping it. I think it's a nice little feature that you can have. You can have the resub message text to speech. I know some users actually abuse this, but I think it's kind of funny in ways as long as you can not have something crazy with people spamming certain letters or words then it's pretty much fine you can enable this no problem i would recommend leaving the voice to auto on english or whatever language you want to choose you can have a spam security it's kind of like a spam checker uh you can determine how much you actually want this here if you're not trying to do anything hide anything you can have it off i'd recommend this keeping low to medium high can sometimes fail a little bit but there's a little bit of trial and error like i said like most of the things on here and of course then at the bottom we can change the actual volume of this so you can play around with this kind of make the stream your own underneath this we have font settings which kind of affect the whole thing together and we can change the fonts here we can change the font size which is going to be the actual size of the text the font weight which is going to be the thickness once again 
the text color, which is going to be the default text color, and the text highlight color, which is going to affect the actual names of users who subscribe. So you should always have your highlight color a slightly different color so it kind of stands out that you know, okay, that's the user's name, whereas the message won't be kind of in fact or messing about. It'll just be a nice, easy transition. And finally, probably one of the more complicated things we can do is alert variations. So here we can add variations so that if a user subscribes for a certain number of time, we can give them a unique message or we can give them a unique image or we can do certain things to kind of show, OK, cool, this person has been around for a long time. So if we click into add a variation, we're given another panel very similar to what we had before. But here is where we can set a condition to this. And if we click on the conditions, we have a couple different options to choose from. So you can say months subscribed is at least. So here, if we select this, we can say if the user subscribes for at least three months, we can give them their own unique kind of image for that and say, thanks for subscribing for three months in a row. Or if we play around with some other conditions, we have months subscribed is exactly. So if you want to celebrate someone who subscribed to you for a year, or if you want to subscribe subscription tier, you can have that also. This is a little bit of playing around with, and it kind of shows your subscribers that you, you care for them and you can give them cool, unique resubscribe messages with cool images and sounds. And you can really play around with this to make it make it your own. And it's just all these little tools and techniques that we're seeing in videos like this just really show how you can make your stream your own unique kind of beautiful piece of art really is what it's coming down to. So if you have any of these changes saved, simply click save and they'll automatically be added to your Streamlabs dashboard. So once you've all your settings saved, you want to come back up to the top of your Streamlabs and we're going to be coming up to the widget URL right up here. We're going to be clicking to show widget URL and we're going to be copying this link right in here. Once you've your link copied, we're going to be going over to OBS and we're going to be making sure we have our right scene selected and we're going to be adding our new source. As you can see by default, I just have this nice big Overwatch image but I'm going to be adding the actual subscriber message on top of this. So what we're going to do is come down here to sources. We're going to click new and we're going to click browser source. From here, you can just name it whatever you want. If you wish, I'm going to name it subscriber alert. I think I spelled that wrong, but I'm going to go with it anyway. And you want to just enter the URL that we just copied before. So I'm just going to put our actual Streamlabs URL in here. Um, I would make sure that the FPS matches up with the FPS of your stream. So if you're streaming at 30 frames per second, set the FPS to 30 of this. Otherwise, there can be some flickering issues and it just might be a bit dodgy. It might just not look the best. I would recommend leaving everything else alone unless you wish to change the height and width. If you know how to use CSS and you want to edit it around, be sure to do that. You don't really need to pay much attention to do boxes at the bottom. Once you've all these settings changed, click OK. And here we should have a nice blank red box that is going to be our subscriber alert message. Message. You can center and put it wherever you want. But now that we have this on screen, we have to ask ourselves, how do we know if it actually works? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tab back into our actual browser. And underneath our widget link, we can see that we can test a subscription. And if we click that and go back in... If we click that and we go back into our OBS, you can see that the message pops up with our image and our nice, beautiful sound plays. And this is how you can test anything with OBS to make sure it's working. Just go back into your actual Chrome and just click test and you can test whatever function you want. But anyway, that's how you add subscriber alerts to your OBS stream for Twitch. And it's just a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I am going to be making some more tutorials with Streamlabs in the future, such as donations, bit notifications, and a couple of other little things. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm going to leave another card on screen so you can go watch the follower alerts video if you wish to see that. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to like subscribe if you're new share it with your friends if you want you can feel free to donate i'm gonna leave my paypal link down below of course you don't have to there's no pressure i'm gonna leave two videos on screen the one on the left is gonna be my most recent upload and the one on the right is gonna be one that youtube most suggests that you will watch so you should probably check it out because it's apparently for you anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace